Being with a best friend or a family member brings good times to everyone. We all love friends and families and we would never do anything to hurt them. I mean, those random thoughts that we have about pushing them off a high ledge or punching them out of nowhere are just random thoughts, right? Maybe. Those thoughts that you've had when you think you can easily kill someone may not be so random as you think it is. You see, this could all be a code, a pattern that links these together. This is called the despair code. First starting out on a 4chan thread about making the iceberg tier memes where every level gets worse and worse, this thread was apparently about what to put as the 6th tier. The list goes as follows. As people were thinking about which conspiracy to put as the 6th tier, one user put this on. The despair code sits there alone as the only 6th tier. Many people on this thread were wondering what this supposed code is. Another user, unknown if it's the same user who put the despair code there in the first place, describes what it is. It is the concept of noticing patterns and thoughts that seem to be coming out of nowhere, similar to the ghost in the machine concept or synchronicity. Science has said that the universe is just a bunch of random things, but the despair code disagrees with that saying that there is an underlying code that once noticed can lead to terrible side effects such as depression and anxiety, just to name a few. Those random thoughts that were experienced are the products of the code and the first step leading towards going to the despair. Taking notes of them leads you in further. The despair code is definitely an interesting theory slash conspiracy. It deals with the mind and a concept that seems practical. However, there are loose ends that leave this a little less than believable. First and foremost, this originated on 4chan. That alone is pretty sketchy since 4chan is not a place to be taken seriously, for the most part. They do have great minds over there but a majority of people wouldn't find them trustworthy. Second of all, the post mentions two people were tested but there are no articles about it. Granted, the post states that they told the person through 4chan, possibly a death thread, but why would the people only tell that one user? Why not spread the word? Lastly, the post says that the two men don't have any theories on what caused it. How could they not know? If they noticed the patterns and delved further into the despair, you'd think they know how they started. Plus, isn't the start noticing the patterns in the first place? A Reddit user by the name of Aresh Kaigai relates the despair code to schizophrenia and even points out a specific symptom of schizophrenia named apophania, which is in reference to the noticing patterns claim. Now I personally want to point out the random thoughts portion, specifically the part about hurting people. That feeling you get when you know you can kill someone easily without anyone noticing is just cognitive dissonance. The psychological stress you experience when you hold two or more contradictory ideas. You don't want to do what you are thinking, but you know you can. That's what I believe that the despair code is lacking on. It's not too far out for someone without the knowledge to believe, but to the people with the knowledge about the human mind, this theory somewhat falls flat on its face. This hasn't stopped people from thinking this is true however. As a matter of fact, there is a YouTube video that shows this image of what looks to be a man in a black hoodie with an eerie sound playing in the background. Have a look for yourself. If you don't want to listen to it, skip here. <laughs> this man looks pretty creepy. Apparently it's a police sketch. But a common thing that I find when I reverse image search this is the phrase, it's getting cold in here, isn't it? Here's another image, but it's probably just a fan drawing or something. I will say however that the image is certainly creepy, but I don't see what this has to do with the despair code. The sounds in the video is simply just the emergency TV broadcast sound. That doesn't make it any less creepy though. Overall, I still think this is an interesting theory. 
Although it is said that this was just a joke and now people are saying that the spare code is just a meme. I wouldn't doubt it, but as I said, still interesting nonetheless. There are other theories as to what the despair code truly is, ranging from military weaponry all the way to how the government are controlling our thoughts and breaking out of it is the code. The one that I covered is the most popular assumption. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mind Drip and I will see y'all next time.